What's up, Augustus? How are you doing? Hope everything's fine in Argentina. You know, we have a pro economic problems over there still because of the whatever the lake is called that connects everything down there, the trade. So let's see. I'm actually thinking of going with the Genesis Junior because of the because of the increased agri agriculture income. But the moderate diplomacy penalty with all faction is uh, really freaking bad in this. But this disdain for plebs. I mean, Jesus Christ, no. We're going to go with the Julia family. And I'm going to be playing this on normal because... Um, well, it is... Divide uh, Imperum. So it's a lot harder than the normal game. Guess we can look through these as well. And there's like no way I can read half of these. I don't know how to pronounce. What we're going is wrong for now. It's gonna be a long one. And this mod ain't easy. Not freaking all. And it's really slow, so don't expect a lot of expansion right at the beginning. Battles take a lot longer as well, unless you outnumber the enemy by a lot and can fl outflank them immediately, which usually doesn't happen. Plus, they added the supply system in, and I didn't notice that the first time I was playing. And I sent my fleet to go like meet other factions, and. I wasn't paying attention and they, they almost starved to death. <laughs> which which will take a, a little bit of getting used to. So you can't really like send out your shit all across the map without any supply. Unless they build a supply caravan as well. Hmm. Okay, they don't, they don't have voice acting for this. Let's see. We're gonna stay there. You go over here. First off, we need to recruit some troops. And unlike the first game, and the normal game, vanilla game, Astati, Principes, and Triarii are all spearmen. That's the main reason the battles take forever. We have one of those, a couple of these. And you don't want to keep your guys in a, in a settlement because they're in, they're gonna decrease public order. Let's put this down to low. Now let's see. I guess we're gonna do the same here. We don't have any triarii here, but they're not gonna matter that much. We need to take out Epirus as fast as possible. At least kick him out of Italy. Then, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go invade the Greeks. So we're not gonna do that. Let me... Get, uh, Right, we can only build a fleet here. The Cornelia, Cornelia, Julia, Pira. Which, which ones are we again? <laughs> Julius. So Julia. I 
I don't like the fact that they had that. Uh, the politics are so freaking weird in this game. I never get used to them. Junia. Okay, so this guy is ours. Give me a second. I want to switch him out here. We want our armies being led by our own by our own guys. Fleet. Yeah, I did watch a couple of uh, Terminators videos on the mod before I started playing, of course. And I did see another guy make he made a video about the mod. I don't remember who, what's his name? Well, like the Terminator videos are a little, a little bit outdated by this point, you know, just a little bit. I can't really follow all that many YouTubers anymore. It just takes too long. Now, who do we want to grab? Let's grab him. Go with Trireams. Because they're not gonna let the stand here or do anything for that matter. Get him another boat. I'm gonna follow the like uh, the guide, ten turn guide from I th was it Terminator? Like go and uh, make trade routes over here. Greetings, now let's see. Friend. We will speak together of whatever see how much wish. money we can get. Bring words that can warm our heart. I accept. The guards will have me listen to you. But do not pass the day in words without merit. This is fair to my... I mean, they kind of, like, made you go a certain way in this uh, mod when it comes to Rome. Because when you take out the Etruscans and the uh, and Epirus, you're going to get clear warm by Syracuse no matter what in the first 10 turns. And when to take the Syracuse, which you kind of have to do, there's not an easy way to make peace with them. Then you get declared war on cart declared war on by Carthage, so there's no point in going to war with any of these because you're gonna have a lot of trouble down here. Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. You have mm, can we make trade with agreement with them? Even though they're gonna declare war on us in a couple of turns. Well met friend. Sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement, as you wish of them. Old. There we go. We got all the trade we can get. Now let's see. We're not gonna need that there after the next turn. that there I'm gonna want to switch this what's the culture like here pretty bad build the salt mines here the, let's see let's upgrade these first hopefully I'm not gonna lose them We need as much food as we can get at the start. And we're gonna make one of these uh, sh a ship right, since we can make a military wharf. Wait, wait, wait. We do need to hire patricians as well. Ultra conversion. Costs. Mm, I think we're gonna need conversion here. I live to serve Rome. What do we? What can 
should we get away with? Okay, let's not do that this turn. Let's go with the high attacks rate. Do we have enough money for a spy? Not really. Okay, let me see. We need to cancel something as well. Let's guess, cancel that for now. Line of sight, campaign movement. I did watch a lot of those Total War uh, YouTubers uh, like before, but uh, after a while, they just uh, it just becomes the same shit over and over again, man. Especially when it comes to the playthroughs. The only one I would watch, I still watch today, is Legend of Total War sometimes, and that's about it. The recruitment cost, chance of evading. Hmm. Do we go with public order or campaign movement? I think campaign movement, the line of sight, is going to be better for us. Let me check these as well. Bunch of four armies and fleets. Baggage train. So these are the marine forms. Yes. No. Uh, I cannot sure. We're gonna go with civil. We need to get the public order really high up first. And it's like a like the biggest, the uh, depre uh, depressing thing that happened in Total War, I guess, is that when the Lord of the Rings mod got got uh, cancelled because, you know, Amazon got, has a right to it and whatnot. A Lord of the Rings mod for Attila, I think, was it? But we have to we have to do that, Romulus, because Syracuse is gonna declare war on us in like five turns or something. So we need to take Italy first, or this little bit, like secure the provinces first. Then uh, once we take Syracuse, Carth Carthage is gonna declare war on us no matter what. It's hard coded into the game. We don't really have a choice there. Basically, gonna have to deal with Carthage, you know, in a, one way or another. Okay, let's demolish that. You'll go over here and keep an eye on him. I hope to God they don't have a fleet out here. Does it seem like they do? Yeah, the game kind of, the mod kind of pushes you into, because like, you're gonna be at war with Carthage no matter what, and like going out, uh, you don't have the resources to actually go out and expand this way, or into Greece, because Carthage is really freaking powerful. Right, it doesn't tell us how many regions they have, this not total war Warhammer. Deploy these two. I don't like that fact that the game forces you into something, but um, what can you do, right? But here, let's. Yes, yeah, should have expanded this one, right? And no matter if we can get the fish later on. 
At your command. Ready for battle. We need some uh, throwing weapons well here. Just see. Can I peek over here? Not really. Let's get some levs anyway. Now, in a couple of times, I did, I did play test this twice, and what did happen is Epirus did attack uh, Beneventum. That's not gonna be a big issue because we can easily beat him there once they take that. And then go for Taras. That's usually what happened in my one in my playthroughs. Did we deploy her? Yes we did. We don't have the money for anything else. I'm gonna focus on the western uh, western part or northwestern part of Europe, of course. Go deal with the Gallic tribes. Look at that, like clockwork. It's been earlier than they they used to, but this is good. Like a Celtic Empire, yeah, that can happen. But uh, this is really good because we can actually take out the elephants in the battle. Well, mostly take them out. Just point all, all our slingers at them. They should deal enough damage. Them there. At your service. General. By your command. One slinger here, Slingers. two here. We're gonna use them to shoot at the enemy as they come in. The elephants. Do these guys have range? Levy. As you command. They do. Now, usually what I did with the plebs is like flank the enemy, which is gonna do fuck all for us, but um, let's do it again, why not? Gotta make sure these guys are not gonna run after the enemy. We must make them proud that we are their defenders. More than that, our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed. <laughs> God damn, that speech was a lot better than the Rome Total War one. Now, at first, like the singles look like they do zero the fucking damage with to the elephants, but like at the end of the battle, they usually like have only eight left or something like that. So it's not that bad. Let's put them all on a defensive stance. And plus, the AI is supposed to be updated with the decision making. And what they usually do is run into, run into the fucking uh, spearmen, die. Hmm. Time I had him like charge here, not there. This might go differently then. But I mean, these are spearmen, they have a bonus versus elephants. Let's, we'll see what happens. I'll, if they break first, that might be an issue. Ready for orders? 
motherfuckers can actually shoot over the over the over the houses as well. 100% combat strength. This is gonna be good. We could actually, f how do I flank them if they all just bomb rush there? I mean, flank them with it since, but um, still. Any form of flanks is better than any. Not, uh, not, none. Zu Soder Kainike. Oh, and what that? What does that mean? Well, Zeus is watching over us, right? Uh, don't waver yet. Come on. And 28 elephants. And it says that the unit is losing as well. Zeus, Saber and Victory. The heavy elephants are actually... Uh, what the... Auto control. Oh, that might... Uh, might be good, might be bad. Depends on which way they go. And these guys are going to lose to them. No, 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 no. Go the, go the other way. There we go. Yeah, if you knock out their elephants, this is all worth it. And I have to go out of my way to knock him out in the next battle to take this over. Okay, elephants are gone. Easy peasy. Except the, fl the flag is still there, apparently. Melee attack at a nine. Hmm. Actually, pulling these guys out of there and flanking with them is going to be a better idea. I don't think we have the time. Okay, let's use these guys to bombard this area here. And these guys to bombard the area here. Greeks say that the first medic war against the Persians First medic war versus Persians? Here's in the books of history of Herodotus. <clears throat> if your memory ain't bad. I mean, you know a lot, about, a lot more about Greek and Roman history, like maybe six years ago. And I was like studying philosophy for a bit because I knew. Uh, I, uh, but I didn't have the money to like pay the college shit. And everyone was pushing me to do so. Ten kills, seventeen, sixteen. Yeah, I think it. Okay, morale is at fifty percent. See if I can get these guys around. Oh, never mind, the other side is breaking. Ah, uh, shh, yeah. Hmm. Now let's just stack. I don't think we're going to be able to win this battle either way. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. These guys lost a decent amount of troops to the fucking citizens as well. 75 of them. Not bad. Our men 
flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Well, the battles are a lot slower in this. You don't see the you don't see the kill counts in hundreds. Never. More of a battle. Uh, it's more of a morale thing. Our men flee the field of battle. Until we get flanked. Our men flee the field of battle. Okay, but we took out the elephants, so that's the main. That was the main threat. Now we're gonna squash shepherds because they fucked up. Act. And I am gonna piece them out once I push them out of Italy. I don't wanna go into the Greek city states and fight them as well. We're gonna have our hands full with Carthage. Syracuse. Well, I didn't see Syracuse actually attack me ever. They're not gonna be that big of a problem. Oh, didn't they, they didn't actually take it. Ooh. I would... Eh? Would have been better if they occupied it. I can actually attack him this turn. I don't think they, he can make it over there. For the sub Giku Sambris. You can actually still attack him. Good. Use first pu Pyrrhic War. Where the fuck did that army go? What the? Swift and silent. A shadow among shadows. Oh. There is more I could do. We hunger for battle. Can I still reach him? So you come here, we're gonna take Taurus next turn. Root a couple more uh maybe we'll get the levies. The Italian levies, all spearmen. Let's grab a couple slingers. Or actually, we, let's get trade first because we don't have the upkeep for them. Steady as we go. Put your backs into it, you men. The waves still. And we met fuck all important. <laughs> no one with the trade port. Okay, let's kill them. Could auto resolve this. Uh. Now let's fight it. Okay, the main problem here is going to be there three set, well, four sets of cav units. Anything else is going to be easy to deal with. Rain. Nope. Right. Yes. Tightly packed there. With a bunch of levies. There should be enough to deal with the calf. Keep one of them on each side in the back. They're hiding. Keep 
We have taken the advice from the seers and the oracles and what? God damn it. <laughs> I cut out the general speech. Mm. It would have been better if he sat on the hill at this point, right? Commanders and soldiers, eh, yeah. Can you count the elephants in that? <laughs> I don't think the elephants count. It looks like they're not gonna move. These guys aren't ain't half bad against the. Uh, they have a bonus against cav units. I don't think they, they should have their spearmen, right? I know. Expecting them to take the high ground, but the same total war warhammer. So the AI ain't as smart. They're gonna charge their cavalry into me. Fine. I'm fine with that. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Double time. Brave Romans to a Lilies. Quick march. Lilies. Ordinary. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I'm fine with enemies charging in. These are equities. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Romans ready for duty. In the name of orders. Real play. Orders. Commander. Obediamo. Slaves. General. Yeah, fucked up my lines a little bit here. The general is under attack. It's worse when uh, it's worse when it happens when you like uh, get your general killed by your own troops. Worst thing ever. Your rain troops, that is. What's envelop them? Sierra Omnibus. Missiles awaiting targets. Missiles awaiting targets. 
Keep this is relative ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And don't mind if I do take out your king there. Or I'm not sure if it's their king, whatever the fuck it is. Okay, when it comes to phalanxes, we need to pincer attack them. That's for sure. Walking with the stick, man. There's the box coming at us here. Heavy shock cap. Oh, that's bad. Just stop him. Take a while to break these. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes the skirmishers. These guys are even breaking as well. Ah, shit! I got. Uh, we don't actually we can't recruit cab this early on as well. There's uh, a bit, bit of a problem. Side, we're gonna attack. Come on, what? How the fuck did that happen? How the hell did they break? What? Shameful display indeed. Those are breaking. There's an issue where I don't know where the where exactly your troops start when they theirs begin after a while here. This way, why are they moving there? The battle is turning in our favor. Of course, it is. Actually, just charge these guys down. You stay there just in case. 
Yeah, I should have picked up some slingers for this army, not as many levs. But you get the fuck out of there. No, it would be nice if we had some cav units so we can actually. Ooh, right, I can get mercenaries. I forgot about that. But we don't have any money. So that's not gonna make a difference. So there's only these guys left. It would be good to cycle charge them. But uh, since the R guys just balled uh, up like that there. I'm gonna. Ha can't really do that. You just charge them down. Roma Invicta indeed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, let's try and kill as many of them as we can. Okay, that's it. Oh, Ezri, I'm not that good. I won't have lost this much. Well, we didn't lose that many troops, but um, we did lose a bit. And replenishment in, in, in this mod is so freaking slow, man. And it's a normal difficulty, but um, you do want to play uh, Divideate in Para normal. Unless you like master it and want a, an extra challenge. Oh good, we actually took out the army. Nice. Okay, so we are gonna attack Taras next turn, so let's... Uh, and eh, we're not gonna get anything out of this, so can't get back. Let's move in closer then. Hello. Hmm. Those guys might attack us next turn. I think they have enough movement speed to get through here and attack us. Now let's. What do we want to do? Right, mercenaries. No cal left here. Yeah, looks like they picked up all the mercenaries. Let's grab a couple of levs. And we're gonna transfer them over as well. As well. Fix that up. What do we want here? Mm, I think we do we want more food. Let me check this. So this is gonna give us growth wealth from commerce, diplomacy bonus to Italian faction. The Italian factions? And who the fuck is that? Just us? Okay, this game makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna build the villas there. Actually, that's gonna gonna use all all our money. I eat the gas, eat the gas. Yes, indeed, the gas prices are going up. Eat the gas, indeed. Right. <laughs> Good thing I don't have a driver's license to drive at all. I don't give a fuck. I have a pair of legs that are functioning still. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. I watched them like go behind my ass and attack one of the settlements they have in the back. That's gonna be annoying as all hell.
slums. Oh no. Go through here first, see what uh, trade agreements we can get. Titans. How much supply do you actually have? <laughs> Don't even attack and talk about the gas prices. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, so we have supplies for seven turns. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't really tell you anywhere how much supplies that these guys give you. Tell me what? You just buy an electric vehicle, man. It's that easy. That simple. And then have nowhere to actually charge it. Easy. Okay, I'm not gonna even fight this one if the if the odds are that good. I'm gonna occupy this and you get the fuck out of there. service to Rome. Okay, now peace, peace, peace. let's pick, pick you guys off. Peace you guys off. Yes, yeah, Circus is gonna declare war on us now. Since we took the right we're at war with them as well. I even Welcome. forgot for a little the bit there. Is already old and there is much to do. So if you have words... Let's see how much money we can grab off of them. This is not a sweet wine, but I drink it for the good of my people. Hungary in Hungary, the government has introduced a law that gas can be sold to up to, to the public for only 1.26 euros. Use the per liter. So, that should be low, right? That's even lower, lower prices than here in Bosnia. So that's right. So so that's good, right? Should be right. Okay, let's get some more trade agreements. Enter friend and speak. We surely have much Enter to Enter friend and fuck you. I think I will listen. Okay, they're not going to want trade agreement. Let's not even try. If you speak honestly, truth will be your sharpest weapon. Will you agree to trade? We have much your people might enjoy, and your goods would enrich our markets. Do you have much we can enjoy? What do we have? They have fish. You have stinky fish, there man. Is good in trade. To walk through a market is to understand a people and learn to respect them. Your new offer is fair. I swear by Zeus that for our part, Oh, every single country comes, everyone comes over the border to fill up on gas. Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking bullshit, man. For what an hour at the gas station so I could get gas? Oh god. Oh, that, oh, that stinks, man. Especially like EU open borders and all that shit. You can just come across the border and get whatever you need. It's like, I think the... I think I read somewhere like the Swiss. Going to go to Germany to buy uh, Germany or Austria to buy food, some shit like that. Like the Croatians come across the border so they can uh, drink and uh, party here, and Slovenians as well because it's a lot cheaper on the weekends. <laughs> oh my god! I uh, did see one guy complain that he stood at the gas station he could only like fill up a g gallon or something like g well not a gallon uh like 10 liters yeah like 10 liters on two gas stations he can only fill up a 10 liters then on the gas station where he can fill up a full tank the price is like um 50 cent higher well not 50 cent higher but like 20 cents higher euros in euros okay. or here let's convert these 
dismantle that. We have some money. Some money. Mm, let's go. What can we get from industry? Uh, we're going to build this shrine or the temple there. So let's build another food villa here. We beast them out. Ready for orders. And now we need to March. take out the Etruscans. Journey completed. Ready for battle. Came home at ten. Oh Jesus Christ! I did. Uh, uh, the, our bus drivers, well, bus uh, bus companies are gonna have a strike. I think tomorrow. Uh, uh, there's a date. They're gonna like uh, stop all tra all buses for like 15 minutes. Force the government to actually do something about the gas prices. I mean, we'll see what happens, but I don't think anything's gonna happen for for that. Hungary, where I live, near a Slovak Slovakian and Ukrainian border gas station, stopped selling fuel. Hmm. Well, what uh, the Ukrainians and the Slovakians are going co coming across the border? So they stop selling fuel. I mean, we're in for the shit now, especially with the sh Russia invading Ukraine and all that. There's gonna be a lot of trouble. All, all the prices for everything are gonna go up. We're gonna get screwed roy royally. That's for sure. Let's see. I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough to take out slums. Okay, it's minus. We're gonna have a rebellion here as well. It's not actually that bad. I think they're gonna spawn. They should spawn there, right? Get some experience as well. son of Zeus who gave his name to the region I do love that the mod added the like little tidbits of history here and there Ready for battle. okay now I think we want to go for upkeep first and replenishment second before anything else right uh, uh romanization I mean, I would say, like, stock up on food, canned food and all that shit. Even though that's gonna be, like, sounding a little bit preppy and all that. I like how the AI just sits at their, like, uh, cities and they, like, they don't have they don't have the public order penalty like we do, apparently. Like, stock up on food and all the other, and water as fast as possible before the prices go up. Ah, shit. At your service, I do enjoy. I apologize for my failure. I don't know why these guys like un undeploy themselves sometimes as well. It's a bit odd. Yeah, I think we want to go this way. Cultural conversion. Your next command. Okay, patrol there, and we do need to send our spy actually up here so I can see where they are. They can attack this. I can easily take it as well. Let's, mm, let's build a villa there anyway, even though we might lose it next turn. See if we can snag ourselves uh, another treaty. Okay, there's Macedon. Yes, supplies lose 
0.03 cents on every liter of gas and 0.46 cents on every liter of diesel. If diesel. Weapons and Ukrainians, every fucking one counts here. Yeah. Ready for orders. I mean, that's gonna happen. Do you know that, like, people from, uh, like, southern Serbia, they get to Macedo uh, Macedonia to actually fuel up Macedon. <laughs> yeah, ma excuse me, N Republic of Northern Macedonia, right? To be politically correct. Yeah, I don't think these guys are gonna attack us this time, so let's patrol to get some, uh, Relations there. I am honored to receive this embassy and will listen. Apparently, they don't want they don't Greetings, like us. My friend, you have my ear. My people, nothing there. Right, let's see. Do we have enough money to actually send someone? Yes, we do. Okay, let's send him to Athena. Maybe he comes back with some cash. This are up as well, but since the war between Ukraine and Russia, a lot of immigrants, immigrants, immigrants come in. Buy everything, so stores will run out of sugar, flour, and milk. Yup. There's gonna be a lot of like uh, refugees coming from Ukraine to all the European countries now. Now I want to see like uh, I want to see Europe greet them as well as they greeted the migrants from Middle East. That's gonna be interesting to see how the governments react to that. An aggression pact. Nope. Actually, mm, maybe I should have seen how much money they would give me for a non-aggression pact since we're not gonna go to war with them in a while. Price topic. <laughs> well, I mean, man, prices are going up here. Uh, since I think since New Year, the price of oil, sunflower oil, has gone up. His has doubled, literally. It was uh, uh, seventy-five cents in euro cents. Now it's one and a half euros. Bread has gone up in price like three, three, ta three times in the last, last six months. And the problem with that is our uh, our average wage here is still uh, three hundred euros monthly. So we're kind of in shit as well. Look at the... P of course the rebels are gonna have like highly experienced troops, that makes sense. Stab him! You have I, do, I do love that like finishing move. Kicks him in the balls and stabs him. You go over here. You come this way. Pergamon. There we go. I am honored to receive this embassy. Right, I didn't check what the guy actually did when he came back from there. Happy populace. Political intrigue. Famous scholar. Increased research rate for civilian technology tree. That's pretty good. Uh, let's... How much money do we have? Not much. 